Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, outfit video. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Mountain Scout uniform and the Mountain Scout mask. So, let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, essentially how y how we got the outfit, how I got the outfit, is it has been a reward for those who've played Fallout 76 uh, before the Wastelanders DLC release. So if you played uh, Fallout 76 uh, before the Wasteland DLC release, you are able to craft this outfit. It should be in your uh, workbench over here. So previously uh, we were able to craft only the outfit but not the mask. I believe there was a, a feature with the mask but now you can also craft the mask as well. So you can go to your uh, armor workbench and navigate to your letter M and find uh, the mountain scout uniform. There it is. And uh, go to your head section and find the mountain uh, scout goggles. It's a weird thing that they have uh, mask, you know, different names for everything. I was just taking a look at some patch notes over there. It, they always have a little, like, uh, mismatch. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, these are marked as Atom Shop. As you can see that badge over there, this means that we will not be able to give it away to someone. So, for example, uh, this item is not tradable and you cannot even drop it. So for instance, if I will uh, craft one right now and if I were to drop it, right, this is what's going to happen. This item cannot be dropped. So it will get destroyed. That's it. So unfortunately, this outfit will be accessible only to those who've played uh, the Fallout 76 before the Wastelanders DLC so that's about it about the outfit it does look cool and yeah I like I like the goggles and stuff like that but what I think that this outfit should be accessible in some other form maybe uh, Adam shop sale or um, gold bullion whichever most probably is going to be Atom Shop if they were ever to decide to give it. On the other hand, this is a reward to those who've been playing for X amount of time, so it could be, uh, you know, how I would say it, unique. But what they could do, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people would want this outfit, is to make it a little bit different and sell it in the Atomic Shop and keep this version of the outfit. Uh, as exclusive to those players who uh, played the game before the DLC. So I'm pretty sure maybe they will be handing over such rewards uh, for those players who are playing this game for uh, a lot yeah, and we will be getting these type of rewards. Uh, essentially there are also other different types of uh, items and outfits that even I missed out because I believe you were able to claim those only by using your uh, Twitch Prime or something like that. I remember it was something in that area. So some outfits I do not own because I do not own Twitch Prime. Maybe next time if something pops, I will get one and try to get the outfit. But what do you think? Uh, should this be available for purchase on the Atomic Shop, or should be should this be exclusive, uh, like exclusive to players who played the game at that time? You know, come to think of it, I, I would even say that keep it exclusive to be honest yes so you can identify okay this guy actually played before the Wastelanders DLC meaning he is a uh, you know well experienced player or something in this area but but I would say that making a, a little bit slight different version of the outfit make it exactly the same just look different and put it in the atomic shop that would be a good idea as well because it will give an opportunity to those guys who really wanted this outfit uh, but you can't get it because you didn't play uh, before the DLC I hope you catch my point like for example for example a uh, spoiler by the way alert uh, there is a, a spec Brotherhood of Steel spec ops outfit I have it in my stash over here and 
the, you can earn this outfit by playing the daily ops, right? And but you can't buy it. So, uh, but you can trade it. <laughs> so this one right here, which actually looks good with these out uh, with the mask as well. So it can only be uh, obtained by playing daily ops, right? Uh, but as far as I heard, there's gonna be another option, kind of similar to that outfit, but is gonna be coming to the atomic shop. So if those who don't want to grind those daily ops, honestly, you should. Because it gives a lot of caps, a lot of script, a lot of legendaries. I got all of my new legendary guns all from the daily ops. So this baby right here, Bloody Goss, daily op. The party wifey, uh, basically junkie minigun with VATS hit and uh, damage resistance while reloading, daily op. Uh, this one is here. Uh, the other gun was light machine gun, vampire bullet explode. I gave it away to a Z Clan member, daily op. Uh, two shot minigun, I don't remember what was the other one, daily op. And a whole bunch of other cool things. I'm, gonna, I'm working on the video because they changed a few things and I think they did something not good. Uh, so I want to make a few more experiments, see if I hit the same numbers as I recorded previously before patch 23, then I'll rec uh, upload the video. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it now because this video is all about this outfit right here. So I got to tell you, do daily up. It's a really good deal. Trust me, you will not regret. Even though I do get a whole bunch of junk, but that junk goes to the vending machine for very, very cheap price for script. And I get to make even more caps like that. So basically, well, yeah, the outfit, the outfit looks great. I personally think it should remain exclusive. But I also think that another version of this outfit should be created and uh, made like accessible so you can buy it at the Atomic Shop. But make it look a little bit different. <laughs> so that's my standpoint. Alright Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them, have that in mind. So if you want something to say, you can always provide your negative or positive feedback without swearing in my comments. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan, I'm Gamer Z Salt from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine, we do have an active Discord, which is two members away from hitting 700 members, that's pretty awesome. And uh, if you want to join, feel free to do so, the link is down in the video description, make sure to read the rules, because you will get banned if you don't follow the rules. Uh, basically, over there we do a lot of bunch of stuff, events, queens, earls, uh, lunch boxes, farming events, uh, sharing builds, sharing screenshots, I'm planning uh, also some preventing of grief. It's a brand new chat I actually created uh, with some experienced people who've uh, faced such issues and know how to uh, basically inform other players uh, what methods are possible so you're going to be alert so you don't get griefed. Uh, so yeah, we're expanding. The more we expand, the more ideas are born, the more chats are created. It's a pretty fun place to be at. But once again, read the rules because if you break them, you get banned and it's a perma ban. No more, no unbans over there. So once again, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, by the way, if you get lost, there is a tutorial video on how to use our Discord, just in case. And now, y'all have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys lock it at, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks all for watching. Bye. From the...